Hi everyone, welcome to Well Zone Series. My name is Anaïs and I'm a marine biologist and guide working at Terra Azul. On today's special episode, we're going to approach the question of how does plastic affect whales and dolphins and its marine life? So please stay with us till the end so you can have tips on how to reduce plastic and also be sure to check out the links below and leave your comments. So plastic is characterized as a major environmental, aesthetic, health and economical problem due to the fact that it's found mostly in all aquatic environment, meaning our lakes, oceans and rivers. Um, in our daily lives, we can find plastic in almost everything we are consuming due to the fact that it's durable, it's cheap and it's economic. So this big industry uses large amounts of energy and toxins that are harmful and are then released into nature. Um, we know now that 40 to 80 percent of large trash items found in the oceans are plastic. But how does it affect wildlife? So mainly everything that's foreign to nature creates a certain imbalance and affects wildlife and the natural order of things. So we know that marine mammals, birds and turtles are affected due to the fact of ingestion and accidental entanglement. So studies estimate that around 100,000 different marine species die every year due to plastic pollution. What happens when an animal gets entangled, it actually it can drown or it will have an impact on its fitness. In a study of 43 different species that were stranded in the east and west coast of North America, it was found that in 70.5% of the cases, the major item found in the stomach of the animals was plastic bags and plastic sheddings. Nevertheless, tooth of whales and dolphins seem to be less affected due to the fact that they use echolocation to feed and find prey, making it an incidental case when they ingest plastic. So when these animals consume plastic, it creates a sort of a full belly feeling that transforms into stomach aches and decreases a proper nutrient intake. But what about plastic in the food chain? So zooplankton so is a primary source of food for many marine organisms. This means that so plankton consumes microplastics. Microplastics are plastics that are found in the water column. Then when predators ingest so plankton, they actually are intaking as well all this microplastic that is going to accumulate into their bodies. Subscribe to get more educational videos like this one regarding whales, dolphins and marine life. Please leave a comment and check the links below if you want us to answer any more of your questions regarding whales and dolphins. So in conclusion, it is our job to protect the environment and to do so, uh, it is our job also to reduce plastic consumption. Please find some tips here that may help you do so. Number one, try to use a reusable straw. Number two, please do not use plastic cutlery, plastic cups or plastic plates when social gathering or barbecues are occurring. Number three, always use a reusable water bottle, cup or mug when you're going out for coffee or with friends. And number four, reuse secondhand clothing. So thank you so much for watching. I hope this was informational. And remember, we don't need plastic to exist. Plastic needs us to exist. Okay, see you next time.